All right. I'm taking you guys to Music Town. Town? Music Town. Town. This, I think I'm saying the name wrong. This is Town Music Box. Town. Town? Damn. I don't know. The program is pretty rad, though. Simple drag and drop file importing. Check. It's got it. And it's fast. Q, mod, coal, air sonic. I don't know what those last two are, but it's got them. Last FM, music brains, other scrobling. You know, keeps track of what you've been listening to and shares it socially. If you want. Not sure what that is, but it's got it. Broadcast, background, live streaming, gapless playback, and even some, in my opinion, annoying fading, stopping, and starting uh, effects, but very seamless. Search context. It's got that band camp. It's got that rate your music. It's got some a couple of Android apps. They kind of are, are trying to build an ecosystem here. But in my opinion, of course, this would be an excellent Android app if they chose to make this native. And when, when I show you how, how slick it is, you might agree. Maybe. I realize it's running up here. I'm going to go ahead and close that up here. Who's gone? Import and manage your Spotify library. This is the part that floored me. Um, because there's a... You have... Well, I made a video not long ago about how to set up a, a CLI Spotify application. I will link to that video down below. But in that video... We used Spotify D as a server and SPT as the front end. But this can also use the Spotify D server and then let you play the music that way. And it even has search functions built in. Before we look at the application, you can get the flat hub. You can get it as an AUR. And I think there's a manual compiling method. I think it's mostly Python um, to let you build it um, right from GitHub. So let's look at this beautiful application. Boom, I have it right down here. I purposely cleared things out because I wanted you to see it raw. Now I have configured it. It's got some layouts here, but first thing we're gonna do is gonna import my music folder. You see that 5,000 tracks instantly just dropped in and almost nothing that I can play without getting a copyright strike. But I will find something that hopefully won't ding it right away. Uh, let's do some distillers just for a split second. And that's enough. <laughs> so you can see real quick that it loads album art really well. It's got all the information. It even shows the format, Opus, which is great. Um, now let's go into the layout settings. You can have multiple album views. You can have just a text view. I kind of call this the uh, FUBAR layout, famously from that one program, FUBAR 2000. Um, there's this view, which let me just, there you go. You get the little waveform, nice looking, um, a, a few others that are, you know, whatever, but then down here you have a mini square. I'm a big fan of the mini square. You have, oh, sorry. That was the mini. That's the square large square. I don't know why I feel like you should, they should make it so you can just resize the square or whatever. And then, of course, micro, which is probably the best if you're on a single screen and you need that real estate and you still want to have a little idea where things are. But if you look over here in the dock, it also has a docking mode, which is a feature you turn on. And to get out of it, you pop like that. This is my favorite layout. I got the artwork of what I'm listening to, where it's coming from, because there are integrations for web services, again, like that SPT, I mean, Spotify D server. So... How do you find what you're looking for? Well, for example, I'm going to type in, you just start typing, right? Stream beats. Now I do not have stream beats on my hard drive, but if you look at the bottom there, tap key to switch to Spotify search. Boop. There we are. We have some music that I'm legally allowed to play and have you here start playing. Stream Beats by uh, Harris Heller. Okay, yes, working. It's functional. I can switch tracks. And you can see right down here, 
is loading from Spotify. And this is all powered by the Spotify D server. The music I don't believe is actually being piped from this application, but from the server itself. And this simply acts as a front end and it works pretty good. Um, and of course you can just go here and delete everything and, um, just bring in your 5,000 tracks of whatever, and you're good to go. And you, you can close it and have it minimized to the tray, which is really nice. I like that when I'm working, load what I want to listen to and just split it over there. Um, the truth is though, this will not be a replacement for the full Spotify experience. You still either need to use the web browser, the official Spotify app if you want, um, or even SBT has a lot more Spotify dedicated functions. Having said that, um, I have had good luck with having the Spotify Android app and then select my D server on my computer. And then I just change tracks on my phone and the music comes out of the, the desktop speakers, uh, which is really, really nice again for, for long periods of working. But with this little plugin, I think, cause it hides so nicely in the little top bar, or I can have the little mini player is probably going to be my go-to. It's completely replaced lollipop, which I love lollipop, but I also recognize that it's very GTK three. And so if you're not running a GTK three, uh, environment lollipop is just awkward and bulky and it's not exactly uh slim and invisible on the gnome desktop either but anyways that was a look at town still have no idea how to say that but anyways thank you for watching if you liked this video do me a favor click that like down below. If you really like this video, you like seeing this mug, go ahead and subscribe. And of course you can also support me through like these cool cats who have supported me on Patreon. It's super appreciated. Every one of you Patreon supporters, um, thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.